I am ready to be a sweeper at a presidential villa if Lewan becomes the president, or Juzo Kailu says. Welcome to the news and please so, so, subscribe to our channel. According to the former spokesperson of the All Progressive Congress Party, APC Joibukwe, the former governor of Abia State, OJ Kalu, in an interview with Channels News, noted that he is prepared to become a sweeper in the presidential villa if Ahmed Lawan wins the presidential election in 2023. Furthermore, Senator OJ Kalu was said to have stated that if the Senate president comes on board, he doesn't need to hold any position because his residence is not far away from the Arso Rock. Adding that he had had a conversation with some contestants and they are willing to put aside a candidate to support Lawan's ambition. More so, he was said to have affirmed that he has known the Senate president for over four decades and such he believes can do the job because Nigeria deserves stronger hands that can make things work again. In addition, he was said to have noted that his leader seems to have used his present office in making sure the parliament is stable. So, therefore, he is confident that if he is going to bring that positive drive, if, ele if elected as the president. Also, he was said to have made up his mind to step down his aspirations. However, he also believed that the position of the presidency would have been given to the people of the Southeast. In conclusion, he said, it was said to have stated that I support the West, Ulushego Basanjo, Vice President Usibanjo, and Good Luck Abela Jonathan. Finally, he said he have he said to have wondered why they cannot support they, they cannot be supported too, as he noted that those from the south who are not from the east are eyeing the presidential seat seem to be traitors. Guys, okay, what is opinion on this? <laughs> Mr. Joy Bukui is always known for reposting and reposting. <laughs> well, because you covered your nakedness when you were sent to jail for fraud, your sins will soon find you out. If the king of the world is not seeing you, the king of heaven can seek you. I don't understand. <laughs> what for now? Why can this Carlos stand and insist on Igbo presidency for God's sake? Who caused the Igbo not to have one voice now? Um, well, I don't know why. Sincerely, he's too quick. Like, had it been this is even coming after the primaries? Now we say, okay, you have seen the primaries. But to me, I think he's too quick to come out and pull out of the race. Just because, or maybe you have seen the, you have seen what is happening there. Maybe he's, but to me, I feel he would have just, ah. Uh, Paid for the phone now. They did not buy the phone. Now. They think he did. He would have just, you know, stay for a little while. It is just in how many days time. The the whatever will be done and then everybody will find out who is going to be the presidential flag bearer. Then they cannot start supporting. If after they have tried and tried and tried, you have pushed your own to the point that everybody knows that you are actually pushing for yours. And then it did not work for you. Uh, you can support whoever you want to support. You can. Whoever. But it is his choice. You have always been Odibo Fulani. So, depart so departmentalizing yourself under the one relationship confirms that you are a fake Igbo man. Igbos don't serve or worship other man. But Almighty God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <laughs> Igbo should leave me alone. Of fighting for vice president and nothing else. Oji Kalu is a con man. Watch him. He know he cannot become a voice to a southern president. Mm. If you're not ascended to president after Buhari, Nigeria may not withstand the type of agitation that will follow. Just watch. The best thing is for Igbos to fight for a peaceful East because they are surrounded by hypocrites. Abiu, it is seeming so. Like I said, had you been this man waited till after the primaries? A lot of people we are hearing that a lot of people, you know, they're dropping out. Had they been he waited until after the primaries, there's nothing to lose. The same money he lost then, he will lose now. You understand me? Let them finish the primaries. Uh -huh. You're not saying that okay, this thing this thing will not favor you. Then you cannot come out openly. Nobody will even go against you at all. Nobody, because if they go against you, they'll know that you have pushed and pushed for yourself or for an evil candidate, and it did not work. 
So what they are going to do is, ah, Onkulu, this thing did not work for you. You understand me? Okay. What a shame for Ndibo or Oje Kalu, desperation for power as vice president. So can ask for a referendum and solve determination. Hmm. This is horrible. Oje Kalu to become a sweeper in the presidential villa. It is his choice now. This is the man, he, I'm very sure he was saying it in his, when he was in his right state, state of mind. That is just, that is just it. Okay. Why not support your brother Dave Umay? Oh, you see what I'm talking about. So, true, true, eh? Why not just come out and say the Southeastern people, they're not united? Please, are you people not saying it for yourselves? Uh-huh. When other people are coming out to say southeastern people or indigents, they are normally not united. The people fight those people. Now it is happening right under your nose. Me, I was even here saying, had it been he pushed it and pushed it and pushed it to the point where maybe at the end of the day he did not emerge, a southeastern um, uh, president did not emerge, then he wants to support him not. No problem. No problem. You understand? He should, he should go ahead. Why? Because it is going to be crystal clear that ah, I pushed mine and pushed for mine. And none of us, they didn't give it to any of us. So let us support these people so that in the next eight years, that is that is going to be his his stand. But now, what will be his stand? Do you believe Dave Uma, he will win? Wake up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so these people are not, they're, they're not nice at all. So like I earlier said before, sincerely he would have just taken a chill pill. We, just wait it out. You have kept yourself to this point, you know. What is there? What is left again? Except just like others are pointing out, he wants to be, maybe he's going to be the, the person they're going to be picking for the, the vice president. Yes. Maybe it's going to be the running mate to Lawan. Except that. But may I still feel that. Uh, truly. You see that saying. They say that the southeastern people are not. They don't. They're not united. Sincerely. I hope the southeastern indigents can now see for themselves. That you. Uh, this this uh, thing with them. They talk not true. So. At the end of the day. We have a lot to work on ourselves. Yes, we have a lot to work on ourselves. So, hopefully, all I'm, I'm after is that somebody who is competent, who wants to really serve Nigeria, and not somebody who sees Nigeria as an investment, you understand, will emerge. And, of course, those around him as well will be people who are willing to serve, who are willing to make Nigeria better for all of us. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.